Hi, my name is Adeline. Welcome to Photoshop for Kids, episode two. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this photo. If you want to see more Photoshop tutorials like this one, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. All right, friends, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is open a Photoshop on your desktop. This is what it should look like. Once it opens, click on Create New. You'll see this window pop up. Now it's time to create our canvas. Let's make our width 4,000 and our height 5,000. This project is just for fun, so we're going to bring our resolution down to 72. Once you're done, click on Create. And here's your canvas. Ta-da! Remember, Photoshop might look scary, but it's actually very easy. This is where all your tools are located. And this is where your layers will be. Now it's time to bring in our photos. To find your ps for kids folder, click on File and then Open. Make sure you're on Desktop. And you should see your folder. Go ahead and double click it. Do you see your pictures? To select your pictures, click your mouse and drag it over the three pictures. Once you're done, click on open. Here are the three photos we're going to use. A teacup, this cute little bunny, and a beautiful butterfly. Let's start with the bunny first. The first step is to bring your bunny to the canvas. To do that, click on your move button. Now click and drag the bunny to your canvas, like this. Make sure you don't let go until you get to your canvas. Once it's on your canvas, you can let go. Now let's check out our layers. Do you see the bunny called layer one? Now we're going to make sure we cover the canvas with our bunny layer. To do that, you're going to click Control or Command T on your keyboard. Do you see the blue square around your photo? Click on one of the points and drag it outward. Like this. Do you see how the photo gets bigger? When you're done, click enter. Now it's time to bring in our teacup. We're going to follow the same step of clicking it and dragging it to our canvas. And there's your teacup. You can also see your teacup layer on the right. Let's go ahead and name our layers. Double click layer one and spell bunny. Now double click layer two and spell teacup. This will help you stay organized. Now it's time to rotate our teacup. Click control or command T once again. Now hover over the square until you see this curved arrow. Now click and drag your mouse to the right. You'll see your teacup start to rotate. Go ahead and make your teacup aligned with your bunny. Now click on one of your points and drag it up to make your teacup bigger. Like this. Your teacup should be about this big. That way only the bunny's head shows. When you're done, click enter. Now let's flip your teacup. To do that, click on edit and then transform. Then click on flip horizontal. Do you see how your teacup flipped? You might have to click and drag your teacup a little bit to the right. Now we're going to create a mask to put the bunny in the teacup. Click on your teacup layer. Now click on your mask button that is on the bottom right. It looks like a little square with a circle inside. Do you see how it created a white square next to your teacup layer? That's called your mask. It allows you to erase or bring back your photo. Now click on your brush. Now head over to the top left corner and click on this little arrow next to the circle. 
you'll see this window pop up. This is where you can find all your brushes. Click on hard round. When you're done, click enter. Make sure your opacity is at 100%. And your flow should also be at 100%. Now head back to your toolbar and look for these two little squares. There should be a black one and a white one. Make sure your mask is selected like this. If your teacup is selected, you'll paint over the teacup, and we don't want that. So make sure your mask is selected like this. Now back to our little squares. The black square is like an eraser. Do you see how it erases my teacup? Go ahead and erase the teacup where the rabbit should be. Don't worry if it's not perfect. We can fix that. Then go back to your black and white square. Do you see this arrow on the top of the black and white square? Go ahead and click it and it will switch the colors. Now you'll have white on the top and black on the bottom. The white will bring back your photo like this. Go ahead and erase the parts of the teacup that you missed. Just like this. And now the bunny looks like he's inside the teacup. Now it's time to darken our image. The first thing we're going to do is make our rabbit layer darker. Go ahead and click on your bunny layer. Then head over to the bottom right corner and click on the black and white circle. Click on Brightness and Contrast. Do you see this new layer called Brightness and Contrast pop up? That's called an Adjustment Layer. Now we're going to connect it to our Bunny Layer. To do this, hold Option or Alt on your keyboard. And with your mouse, hover between the two layers. You'll see a little white box and arrow pop up. When you do, click it. And now, your adjustment layer is attached to your bunny layer. Now head over to the top brightness slider. Click on this point and drag it to your left. Do you see how your image gets darker? Now click on your teacup layer. Let's add another adjustment layer. Remember, it's the black and white circle at the bottom. Click on brightness and contrast and attach that layer to your teacup. Go ahead and lower your brightness. I think about 45 is good. Do you see how your teacup got darker? Now it matches your bunny layer. Now it's time to bring in your butterfly. Go back to your butterfly photo. Here we go. We just want to select the butterfly, but not the background. So you're going to use your quick selection tool. It's the fourth one from the top. Then go ahead and click on the butterfly. Do you see the dotted lines around your butterfly? I call these marching ants. Now we want to make sure all of the butterfly is selected. As you can see, a little bit of the brown part is not selected. So go ahead and click it. Now the entire butterfly is selected. Well, I know the legs aren't, but that's okay. We can draw them later. Now go ahead and click on your move tool. Then go ahead and click on your butterfly and drag it to the canvas. Now you have a butterfly layer. Name the layer butterfly. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. Remember, it's Command or Control T on your keyboard. When you see the blue box up here, click on one of the points and drag it to the middle and you'll see your butterfly get smaller. When you're done, click Enter. Now it's time to flip the butterfly. Click on Edit, then Transform, and finally flip Horizontal. Now we want the butterfly to look at the bunny. So let's rotate it, just the way we did the teacup. Remember, it's Command or Control T. Then just rotate it until they're facing each other. Just like this. Next, let's draw the butterfly legs. 
click on your butterfly layer. Then click on your color picker. Do you see this window? This is where you can change the color of your brush. I'm going to select black. Then OK. Then head over to your brush window and make the size very small. Now go to your butterfly and give it a few legs. It's just like drawing. Now it's time to add a little bit of magic to our butterfly. We're going to create a new layer. To do this, click on the little box with the plus sign on the bottom right. Now you have a new layer. Do you see where it says normal? Click on normal and scroll down, then select linear dodge. Now head back to your color picker. Now hover over your butterfly and you'll see a little eyedropper. Click on the colored part of your butterfly, then click OK. The first thing you're going to do is lower your opacity to 10%. Then head over to your brush window and select soft round. And finally, let's make our brush size a lot bigger. Your brush should be a little bit bigger than your butterfly, just like this. Now it's time to paint our globe. I'm going to go ahead and click around the butterfly just like this. And you can start to see my glow come to life. Doesn't it look magical? The more you click, the stronger your glow will get. All right, friends, we're almost done. Let's go back to your bunny layer. Make sure it's selected. Then create a new layer with the square and the plus sign. Go ahead and move that new layer to the top, but just below the teacup layer. Go back to where it says normal and find linear dodge again. Then head back to your brush window to make your brush a little bit smaller. Now you're just going to paint a little bit of glow on your bunny. Make sure you only add the glow to the bunny's face. Now click on your teacup layer and create a new layer, just like we did before. Make sure you drag it to the top. And this time you're gonna add a little bit of glow to the teacup. All right, friends. Now I want you to take your hand and go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. Don't be shy now, you've earned it. And you're all done. Look at what you've created. I hope you enjoyed our video. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.